Now, hi, this is John again with another review. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be discussing the 2014 film Captain America The Winter Soldier. And of course, this is the. This was actually technically the sequel to the 2011 Captain America film, I mean, the first Avenger. So, the, so, technically, this is the first sequel, even though uh, this movie takes place. It picks up after the events of the first Avengers movie which came out in 20, I think it was 2012, the first, the very first Avengers film. So it takes place after that. And so it's like, even though I haven't seen the first Avengers movie yet, I'm planning to, so you have to like, see the the Avengers movie, the very first Avengers film first, then you see the uh, Winter Soldier film. But I'm doing these movies out, you know, kind of out of order, uh, but... And I'm and 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 doing the Captain America films in order, but I skipped over the Avengers uh, film. I'm going to figure watch the Captain America films first. So the, so this movie does store Chris Evans as Captain America. And also brings in Scarlett Johansson as uh, Black Willow, who co starred with Chris Evans in the Avengers film. So she's reprising her role here. And she, and she was, and out of this, maybe Sam Jackson, who plays Nick Fury. Once again, one of my nitpicks is, of course, you have a black actor playing a white character, who was traditionally a white character. You know, David Hasselhoff once played Nick Fury in a, t in a crappy TV movie. But, and also in the comic books and various cartoons, Nick Fury was always a white character. But because people are nitpicks, oh, how could there be white guys in this? So they hired a black guy to play a white character, which because they did that in, in, Superman, in the Superman reboot, Man of Steel, and they did it again in, in, in uh, this film with uh, Nick Fury playing, with uh, Sam Jackson playing Nick Fury. Anyway, uh, this time, uh, Captain America, or Steve Rogers, Captain Steve Rogers, was, was in, now he lives in Washington, D.C., now he works for, never fails, folks, never fails. Now, now, now he's working for for Shield, and when he wasn't there, Shield Shield gets attacked and Peggy gets wiped out. Almost get, Peggy gets wiped out by this other this, thing, this evil organization, Hydra, which was if you watch the first Captain America film, the first Avenger, it was controlled by or ran by the by the Red Skull in the first film. So now the, the latest generation of people who work for Hydra infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. and pretty much wiped out all the guys from, from S.H.I.E.L.D. including Nick Fury which there was a f major spoiler for those of you who have not seen this film get, get, uh, get, uh, you know, killed but he, where there was a fake out so what, what happened was they, they did, they did uh, Captain America and Black Willow try to find out what the hell was going on. And they find out that Hydra was behind the whole thing and wants to use these secret weapons that S.H.I.E.L.D. had developed to wipe out, you know, the majority of, of, of the planet. So it's time to Captain America and Black Willow to stop them. And of course, eventually, over the course of over two and a half, about two and a half hour film, they eventually uh, did that. And, and of course, uh, one of the main problems with this film is, of course, its length. I mean, it's way too long for a plot like this. I mean, if it's just over two hours, like a two-hour, ten-minute film, or thereabouts, maybe two hours, fifteen minutes, it might be fine. But it was like maybe between fifteen to twenty minutes too long. And knowing that, but it's like man, maybe five minutes of plot, and about two hours and twenty minutes of straight action. Now, I don't mind good action film. As you see, watch my videos, I've done a lot of action films, like Nathan Weapon movies and Die Hard and stuff. Um, the problem is, at least those movies, at least they got a plot. And it doesn't all act to give you a chance to breathe for five minutes. You can't, these modern comic book films, you know, these, these Die Hard comic book nuts, like those you see in the, in the show The Big Bang Theory, which has ended its run on CBS, 
they want to focus on just the action and, and the hell of the plot because you blink, you missed what the plot is. And me, I like to have my movies have a plot first, then build up to the action sequences. You know, give you a chance to breathe and, they, and then you have a plot, try to figure out what's the next game plan, why is this stuff happening, and, and trying to figure out some way to stop what, what's going on in this film. That's the type, that's what a comic book movie should be. However, that's not the how it is to, you know, today in this animation where you have straight action and maybe five minutes of plot and about two hours or more than two hours, depending on the movie's length, of straight action sequences. Uh, of course, the problem is that we're trying to figure out who the Winter Soldier is and he happens to be a thug working for Hydra. And he's trying to figure out who, because Scourge and Black Widow had confrontation with, the, with this guy before and he had put a scar on her stomach and shot her through the stomach and you see the bullet hole in her, in, in, in her stomach and he said, now I can't wear, bye bye bikinis. Now, now I can't wear bikinis anymore because I have this big, big hole, hole in me. And, and he says, and so of course, you know, Captain America says, well, this, oh, this is too bad, I'd like to see you in one. You know, you know, that, you know, that type of thing. And who wouldn't want to see Squad Joy Hansen in a bikini? I mean, come on, I mean, she's hot. But, uh, but anyway, they find out that the Winter Soldier was actually Steve Rogers' old friend from the first film, Bucky. Of course, Bucky, in the, in the original com Captain America comic books that came out in the 40s, was, uh, Captain America's psychic. In the original, in the original comic books, Captain America comic book series back in the 40s, when Captain America first came out, and as a comic book, because they all, the main superhero, you have to give him like a like a teenage psychic, you know, like Batman and Robin, and that, and that, and that sort of thing. And they did that with Captain America as well, so that young readers could relate to the teenager. In, in the uh, the teenage psychic, and Bucky was supposed to be Buck, uh, Captain America's psychic, so he was uh, also kind of like frozen, like Captain America was, and years later he they defrosted him, for lack of a better term, and and they erased his mem Bucky's memory and made him into like this uh, soldier or this. Uh, Sniper or something. And the, the super soldier, kind of like the Steve Rogers is. It's kind of like a rival to, see, to Captain America. You know? Um, same type of skills and, and all that type of thing. It's kind of like mono a mono type of thing. And you do, you do see a couple of good fights between Captain America and Bucky in this film. You, you do see like two or three good fight sequences between the two, between the two characters. It's made the movie worth watching, those two fight sequences. But other than that, I mean, it takes way too long to get to those particular fight sequences. And especially when, instead of saying Captain America tried to help Bucky, which he eventually uh, doesn't quite do. But it leaves you enough to the imagination that maybe sometime down the line, maybe these two guys will be up against another film. But they did what they could could do with this film, with this particular film, but I figured it took way too long for Captain America to fight the Winter Soldier and it took way too long to get to those sequences. Because, because this movie was so padded out with the action sequences and like, you, you get like numb to, to the action, action scenes and you say, and you're waiting and you're waiting and waiting for Captain America and the Winter Soldier to, to, to duke it out. And when you finally get there, you're like you're like you're disappointed. You get disappointed. That's how I felt watching this movie. True, it wasn't a big Captain America fan. I mean, didn't used to watch the cartoon series. Like I mentioned in the previous uh, video for for the first Captain America film uh, from the 60s, because it used to run when I was a little kid. I wasn't born until 1971, but during the 70s, they used to air all these old you know, Marvel superhero cartoons. They ended in the 60s in the 70s. And it wasn't until in the early 80s when they started to reboot, make new, brand new cartoon series from like the Hulk and Spider Man and stuff. And that's when they stopped airing the cartoon series from the 1960s on television. But, you're here, again, off topic. 
but the but the movie itself, the Winter Soldier, I thought it was like took way too long. It was too padded out. Uh, this movie should be should have been at least a half hour shorter. Twenty at least twenty minutes to twenty three minutes shorter. It might be better. To me, I would have liked it better if it was like twenty minutes shorter. And instead of paying out all the action stuff, uh, but. You know, Chris Evans is very good in the character, I can give him that. And Scott and Johansson is also quite good in this film. So, you know, as much as I don't like the overpowering with the action scenes and forgetting the plot, the performances were good in, the, in this film. So, so let me review of uh, Cap Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Please click on the video, please rate it. Feel free to come. Feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm always a comment. You can't comment on my videos anymore. Uh, because if a guy decides to try and be, you know, rise out of me, call me something that I'm not. So because of, because of this guy, and I believe it's a guy, you can't make comments on my videos anymore. It's almost a year already. But please, uh, you know, li like, please favorite my vi the video. Please subscribe to my channel. And please forward this video to your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and only my YouTube channel, but rallycc.com, it's all WDY, and then c.com. Home page and rally reviewer Christine Moore. And please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.